Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another um, LFC preview show from FTB Sports. Um, and as per usual, I am FTB Stitches. You can find me on Twitter as Stitches. Um, and today I've got a glorious panel with me, as always. Um, these people are the people that make this show. So, you know, I'm always um, grateful to have them with me. I've got Pato. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Um, and as always, I've got Stoney with me. Are you Stoney? Always I'm good smiling, as well. Sir. You're always smiling. Has to Love be. It. Has to be. <laughs> yeah. How are you today? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just, just really looking forward to the show today. Really good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's get straight into it then. Right. Without further ado, it's the big one. It's the big one. Yeah. Liverpool City. There's a lot riding on this. They're currently seven points ahead of us and a game in hand, mm. right? In previous seasons, that's basically it. League over, right? Yeah. Um, you know, um, um, it's a funny season this season. It's a COVID-impacted season. There's ups and there's down. They've had a blip. We 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 are in a blip, some would say. Um, but, you know, a lot's riding on this. How important do you think this match is? So two questions I want you guys to address for me, right? One, how important is this match today, right? And two... Is this the new rivalry? Forget Man United. Forget forget them boys down the road. Is this it now? Is this the United team that we... Sorry, the Manchester team that we need to worry about? Talk to me. Pato, what, what do you think? I think, well, importance regarding importance. This could be the main game of this season. I think if we win tomorrow, we, we're, we're back on... We could be back on track. Bear in mind that when we played them the last um, the last game, they yeah. were seven points clear of us then. Mm. Um, yeah. And then look at the changes after that. They were top also. Man City were top. But mm. then we've gone, you know, above them, haven't we? So they could get a, st a little um, bad luck stint also. They're still in three cups. Mm. So they're in three cups, they've still got Prem games to play. They're going to become congested at some stage. Yeah. And I think they're going to run into problems then. Like I've said, March, I think. March, we're going to see a, bit, a little bit more clear of how things are going to go. But, yeah, yeah, definitely a very, very important game. Regarding is it the, about Manchester, I think it doesn't matter what Manchester team you play, there's always that rivalry. Mm. You know, Manchester's Manchester. Mm. So, but I understand what you mean. From the, it was always us and Manchester United. Um, I'd say, yeah, um, City have probably overtook United. <laughs> United don't like that, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to be controversial, but it has been said that City is the genuine Manchester club because most of <laughs> United fans are outside of United. So, you know, there's that bit of banter. So, <laughs> you know, I'm being I'm being cheeky. I know I'm being cheeky. But, yeah, no, I, I hear what you're saying, Pato. So, Stoney, what are you saying? What, what, what's your views on this? <clears throat> all right. So, probably similar to Pato here. All right. So, what, the, the last game I think you played with them in November? 1-1? One, 1-1? One? One, one? Yeah, 1-1. Yeah, one, one. One, one November. Um, so, yeah, a, a game of extreme importance. Um, I'll probably look at the same thing, really. We're fighting on two fronts, right? We're Liverpool. We got mo both Manchester clubs here um, in contention with us at the moment. So I say, in terms of that challenge, let's let's really bring it on. I think if you want to look back in history, um, when was the last time City beat us at home? You're, you're probably looking back at quite a few years. That look, records are there to be broken, all right? But you're probably looking at. I think it was 2003. The last time they've actually beaten us. At, at, at Anfield is probably 2003. Records are there to be broken. Yeah. Um, not, not, not to be a Debbie Downer on that yeah. point, though, right? But I did see a stat the other day that said that 48% of away games yeah. have been won this season. Sorry, 48% 40, of the time the away team wins the season, which is an unprecedented high for the Premier mm. League. And they were trying to link that to the fact that maybe it's to do with the fans not being in the stadium. So, you know, like home, away teams are getting points away from home this season. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, so they pointed to that. So I'm not, I'm not trying to like, you know, count what you're saying. We got this. Yeah. You know, Anfield is our fortress and has been until yeah. recently. But mm. yeah, you know, so you know, if if they were ever going to beat us at home, this is probably the time, right? 
Possibly. And he said a lot of people will probably point back back to look, we you know, our, our, our record last last two home games, we haven't got the results that we probably wanted to. And this may be the opportunity for Manchester United to I mean, sorry, Man City to obviously come there and probably be the third team that may well get be victorious at Anfield. Not to not to say that we want that. But they're probably yeah. looking at that opportunity. Don't worry, I agree with you. Don't worry. Yeah. They're probably going to yeah. be looking at it as well. But in terms of that, as he said, if we look back in history, it's been a goal fest. You know, we're, yeah. we're usually scoring two or three goals at two or three goals at home when this fixture actually takes place. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, going back to whether it's City or United, uh, listen, they're in our shadows. Um, so I'm, I'm not concerned with that here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right. Big talk, big talk. I like that still. I like that still. So, yeah, look, my, my take on it is this, right? Um, I'm in a state of mind where I'm kind of like, we take each game as it comes now. Like, forget the title for now. Right. Not saying we're... I mean, Klopp did say the other day, like, we're not in the title race. Robertson's been quoted as saying it as well. Mm. My thing is this. Forget the title for now. There's no talk of that. It's talk about getting our game back on. We've been hit with, you know, all the injuries. We know that, but... Mm. We got these new centre backs. So are we gonna start playing them now? Are we gonna start getting back to the way that we play and getting our structure back? So for me, it's important in that respect. I'm not bothered too much about the result. Obviously, I'd love a win. I'd love a win. Yeah. Right. Because that puts us back in it. But whether we win or lose, I think there's still enough games and, and enough in this awkward season for, for things to change drastically. Like yeah. it's like every month it's a new it's a new rhetoric. Last hmm. month, United won, won the league in January. The, the month exactly. before that, Tottenham won the league. Then Chelsea won the league. Then we we won. The, like, come on. like yeah. It's ups and downs. So there's still a lot more to come. So I'm not writing off the league, but I'm not focused hmm. on that right now. I'm all about hmm. let's get our games going. So it's really important in the regards that if Man City do what they normally do every season and it, all things not being equal, then it's done. It's done, yeah. right? Because they're not going to lose another two games or three games. Do you know what I mean? Generally. But it's mm. a weird season and anything can happen. So for yeah. me, we, we have to kind of, we should go out to beat, right? Because then the whole dynamic changes. Mm. In terms of, is it City, is it United? For me personally, United are the ones I want to slap up every season. Like, <laughs> their, their fans are just too mouthy. I just want to yeah, slap them yeah. up. Like, it's as simple yeah. as that. I don't care. City... <laughs> recently have become rivals because I used, I quite like Guardiola. I used to anyway. Um, but since he's been at City, they started to become a bit of a needle between the two teams. Like when they won the league and they started singing about us and that, I thought that was classless. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like we're living rent-free in their brains and stuff. And do you know what I mean? They, they, they Some of their players like Silva was a bit cheeky. Mm, mm. In like the guard of honour. He didn't do he didn't do the guard of, of, of honour, turned his back and walked off, which I thought... Like you got no class, and then that also that also happens. Well, also happens as well when you've got the these clubs are that are in a position to start winning silverware and have only got new history. That, that, is that true. happens. That is true. New that money, happens. new money. Yeah, yeah. New yeah. money, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the other thing that kind of got on my nose a little bit was um, recently in the interview, pre-match interview, Klopp said that he just dropped in. Like I, I don't think it was banter. He just said, "Look, they're fresher." They had yeah. two weeks off because of COVID. Mm. Yeah. Like, it was a bad thing, but they're fresher. And Guardiola's yeah. totally taking it left field. Oh, I don't think they think Klopp's like that. And this, that. It's like, wow, well, calm down, yeah. Stop being so yeah. sensitive. Relax yeah, yeah. yourself. That, like, that right? also means that we that also means that Klopp's probably got underneath his skin because I think yeah, I you're, so. you're right. They, they were speaking about that. And Klopp is a it's a it's a valid reason. Um and, and Klopp obviously mentioned the time period that they had off. Um, Guardiola was pointing to the fact that they had, say, for instance, that period off because it was to do with COVID as mm. well. That's his point. But you're right. Rest is rest. So you're rest right. Is rest. It, yeah. Uh, and, and it, you're right. If, 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 if Guardiola is pointed to that little point out of all of the out, out of all of the minutes from the press conference, we got underneath yeah. this skin. So yeah, Paul, mm. who's that? Who's that? Do you like that? Jose. 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 Behave yourself here. Yeah. Wind your neck. Here. Exactly. Wind your neck. Exactly. Here. That's it. They only had a week, didn't he? As he yeah. said, they, they had a week. 
Mm. Well, then he's gone and yeah, put COVID rules because they should have been resting for two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. true. That's COVID true. Was two weeks. So he let, let the secret out, innit? He let yeah. the secret out. That's like having. Yeah, he's just going to blow himself up. But, um, mm. but you're right. Klopp's just getting to him, niggling yeah. at him. Yeah, yeah, and it worked. But mm. listen, it'll all blow over. It'll all be forgotten about in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just before we move on to the next next question, I want to um I want to get into, um so we we we've, we've had a comment come in. Thank you, Solo, 1979, Herlock. Um, very difficult game this will be for Liverpool, as Man City have picked up form and also have improved on keeping clean sheets this season. They have. It's only taken yeah. them three seasons um and two hundred million pounds to to find a decent centre back. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it? to sort out their defensive worries. It only took that long, but you know mm. it is what it is. They have improved credit where it's due, and and they are yeah. getting results, and they are keeping clean sheets. But you know what? Though I'm going to disagree with him on this. Will be a very difficult game for Liverpool. Do you know why? Right, and I, maybe I'm being a bit boasty, but I worry more about the Brightons and the Burnleys mm. than mm. I do about other top teams. Okay, it's right. just something about us that when it comes to the big games. Mm. You see the best face of Liverpool generally, yeah. unless unless a player is getting sent off in the first 10, 15 minutes, and then it's ten men against yeah. them, then we get slapped up. But other yeah. than that, mm. like big games against big clubs, we we very rarely let ourselves down. So, um, it, on paper it's a difficult game, yeah. but actually mm. these are the kind of games that we we look forward to. What 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 do you think? Yeah, I think yeah. we we thrive. I think on these games. We always step up, don't we, up for the for the big games because it is a big game, and we we often do step up. Looking at it, though, would you agree that we're going in as an underdog? Um, on paper, you'd have to give them form. Give them form. Yeah. On yeah. on you're right on on current form because of what Man City's last twenty games in all competitions they've gone undefeated, right? Okay. So if if we're so. if we're just looking on the form guide, just the form guide, Man City would be deemed as the team to possibly come through with all three points, right? On on form guide. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's definitely not going to be happening. They're probably going to be happy that they've got about a million defenders to actually choose from in this game. Yeah. They got they got certain players in in form, Gundogan and and Folden are in form. But as you said, we're we're going to this game and I'm going to be po um positive. I agree with what you were saying, Stitches. We're gonna be, we're gonna thrive on games like this. Thrive yeah. on games. So exactly. um yeah. I yeah, think, and, and I think as on, well I think as well, and maybe that's why Jürgen's made the comment about we're not in the title contention. Mm. Maybe that's to take the pressure off the boys. Yeah. And yet uh, you know, we should be playing one game at a time. It's not mm. snooker. Mm. Yeah. Can <laughs> 20 shots ahead. Yeah, it's a marathon, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Exactly, it's a marathon. So I think maybe um they're trying to take the pressure off the boys to so go mm. into the game tomorrow with less pressure on paper going in as an underdog. Mm. And as we, we thrive on these games, so I think we're going to steal it tomorrow. I really believe we're going to steal it. I know they've got defenders that can even score. Yeah. Man City's defenders have scored um, more goals than ours. But... Yeah. And I mean, we, do we know is Fabinho going to be playing for us? We, 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 yeah, Mane we're going to explore to be playing. Um, yeah, we're going to explore that shortly. Yeah, we're yeah, we'll look that into shortly. that shortly. We know yeah. that they were out there, um, key players. Um, but then who's missing? Man City, De Bruyne, yeah. Yeah. and De Bruyne and Aguero. And Aguero. And Aguero. De Bruyne and Aguero, right? We've got eight out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but. They, uh, I don't know, they because they like to look how they, they put do their formation around De Bruyne, De, 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 De Bruyne, De Bruyne, yeah. Yeah. De Bruyne, De Bruyne, yeah, 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 it's setting up because look, look when what were games did they get beat? City got beat by Villa, didn't he? Yeah, Tottenham. Um, was De Bruyne, was he playing then? So when they got he was, he was playing in those two, to be fair. Well, 
it, not Villa, it was it for Villa? I don't know, I'm not uh, sure. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think when they got beat by Villa, I don't think he was. I think he played at Tottenham, though. I definitely think he played at Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they played, I know they played a 4 3 3. Didn't they play 4 3 3 last game? 4 3 3. Um, at that Villa game. Tottenham. Yeah. What was the Tottenham? What did he play them? Against us, what was it? 4 4 2 3 1. That's what they're yeah. probably going to play against tomorrow. Well, we, did as well. we did as well. Yeah. So, well, apparently so, tomorrow, isn't it going to be five in midfield? It's going to throw five in midfield, put the ball across the pitch. <laughs> That's what a lot of people are doing. But listen, I, here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. I've many times have I heard this year that this is the greatest time to play us. Yeah. Tottenham came with that attitude, got slapped up. Exactly. Yeah? Man United came with that attitude, parked the bus. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So Leicester City, people thought was gonna do us. Mm. Like, but if he puts five in the middle, isn't that park on the bus in the middle of the of the of the park? So I was, about to, five, I, I was about to say this. Round. If you can't get yeah. through, what do you do? You go round. Yeah. I was about to say this actually, that <clears throat> I've noticed in the last couple of meetings that we've had with Pep. Mm. That it's a sign of respect Joseph. that he's having for us. Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. We'll call him Pose. Joseph for the rest. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Right. He's recently he's been showing us a lot of respect in regards right. to when he plays us. Man mm. City usually play very much on the front foot, and I'm not saying they they are on the scale of Man United in terms of parking the bus, mm. but I've noticed that they they're a bit respectful now. They don't commit as much. Do you know what I mean? They're very careful about us hitting them on the break, getting them on the counter with our counter press. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've noticed that. So that's, you know, testament to where we've got to. But yeah. I'm looking forward to that. If you can't enjoy these games as a Liverpool fan, yeah, forget. Turn off your yeah, TV, yeah. hand in your membership, forget it. This exactly. is what we live for. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Big match day, big teams. This is, this is what it's about. Um, just want to take a moment before we go on to the next part of the show. Please, guys, we, we grow and we, we, we thrive on you guys being involved in our show. So please like, subscribe and share. We're, we're trying to grow the family. Um, and, you know, we can only do that with your support. So thank you very much. And big up everyone that's um, watching on. So in the next bit of the show, what, what I'd like to do is, you know, let's talk about what we think the formations are going to be. How do we think we're going to line up? How do we think City's going to line up? Um, and you know who do you think is going to start? This is the interesting bit because in the in the post match show we get to talk about who was right and who was wrong mm. and 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 whatnot. Stony, I want to start with you this time, sir. Um, okay. You know what formation do you think we're going in with? What do you think City's coming in with? And who do you think we're we're picking? Because we simply have a choice now, don't we? With with these two new yeah. centre backs that we've bought. So do you yeah, think yeah, they're going to yeah. be thrown in? Let's try and answer those questions. Thank you. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, just a good afternoon for some people who are jumping on and commenting on our on our, on our feed. So good afternoon, Sam, Spurs for Life, um, wonderful host for the Spurs show. And also good afternoon to Mr. B as well, wonderful co-host for the Man United project as well. So so good afternoon, gents. Um, so for the Liverpool starting lineup, I reckon we're going to have the full free free. Um, Alisson going to be back in goal. Um, Trent and Robinson either side. I think we're going to have Henderson at the back with Nat Phillips. Um, same midfield, same midfield three that we've been playing the last few games with Thiago, Gigi, and um, Milner. And I think he's going to. I think Mane is going to be able to come back into the fold. So Mane, Bobby, and Salah up top. So that's what I reckon Liverpool are going in a four three three. Okay. What about yourself, Pato? Do you think? Do you agree? Do you think that's how we're going to line up? I have the same. But I love that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but okay. um, if Ma so, if Marnie's playing, yeah, I'm, I'd want Marnie on the left with Robbo. Yeah, Ginny, mm -hmm. and I want Salah yeah. on the right. Okay. okay. Salah was on the left um, against Brighton. Yeah. But he was on the right against um, West Ham and Tottenham. Yeah. Okay. 
So you what's know, your I team then, Pato? I both feet, but I think he's better on the right or, or in the middle. But then as well, what if... Um, what if Fabinho? Is Fabinho playing? Yeah, I don't know. Is, these are the questions. So, yeah. so, I've, been so my... told, I've been told that he, he, he should be because he's being, he's being training and he's fit. I've been told he is fit. Um, he's definitely so, so do you reckon... That... So do you reckon then if Fabinho's fit, if Fabinho's so fit... So if Fabinho's fit and he puts yeah. him straight in... Do you reckon he'll play at the back with, with Henderson? We can bring Henderson back uh, back up to the midfield. Ah, OK. And then yeah. it's going to change again then, isn't it? The dy dynamics will change. So this is it. Um, you know, and again, if Marnie's not in, then Shakiri's going to come in or Origi. But, and then, because um, I do not think the two new kids are going to start. No, no. There's no, no way. I agree. I agree. No way. They're not, um, they're not the Liverpool match fit. There's match fit. And hmm. there's the Liverpool match fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be in there definitely definitely not starting. No way. So, so there's no way about that. But, yeah, so it all depends yeah. who, 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 who is going to start. But like I said, if if it's if if no one's you know if there is no Fabinho, um, if there is no Mane. I'll bring Shaq in for Mane, but then I'd switch it back round to put Shaq on the right, and I'd put Salah back over on the left because I think Shakiri's better on the the right also. Okay, so it's, it's a tough one. I mean, at least we've got so, these options. It's nice so, to have a little few options. I know they've got better options than us, but. We we still got a little bit. Um, no one else I like. Um, the the two new ones. Why as well? We should play them because they're not going to have a clue about them. How to how yeah. to play them? At least they've yeah. had a couple of little days in the training grounds. Our boys mm. can see a little bit. Oh, we can do this. We can do that. He's listening. He's um, yeah. responding to the, to our messages. Um, so that it could, it could be I, i'm i'm really hopeful i'm really hopeful but yeah that's that's what i think so so here's what i think yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's interesting you threw up a, a few interesting options there in my opinion in my opinion i think we go allison in goal um, yeah. i think he's going to be recovered from his illness i think we go trent on right back left back's going to be robertson they pick their souls here is where i think it's going to be interesting i think mm -hmm. the Quebec plays straight up start okay. Straight off. I think okay. Quebec plays and yeah. I think he plays with Henderson. Okay. I think Fabinho drops into the number six. Yeah. And I think you have Thiago and Wijnaldum. And the reason I'm not putting Milner in is I just think Milner has played four games in two weeks or in a short space of time and he looked tired last game. He did. He looked tired and he was getting, he, he touched his hamstring I felt like he was getting a bit, do you know what I mean? He, he get a bit jaded, right? Mm. Up front, I think we go Mane, Firmino, Salah. That's how we're going, right? I think Milner's had think, a little rest, though, you know. What's that? I think Milner's had a little rest. When? He played last week. No, oh, I don't know. He's last... been in bed for two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't know. I, I think he's, he makes the bench. I'm not I'm not seeing him and starting. <laughs> I'm, I'm not seeing him starting. Um, if I'm being all right, um, so yeah, I, I that's that's what I think is going to be the starting lineup. I think if he starts with Davis, the new centre back, he plays mm. Henderson um, at the back as well. Yeah, it's just, just though you need if we're going to bring the two, if we're going to play either of the two new ones, because he won't put, play them both. He'll play nah. one of them, but even if he does. You need your experience. You'll need Milner there for the for the experience for the younger ones. But I, is that's so why I think Henderson's going to gonna start. Right. Yeah, mm. that's why I think Henderson's going to start. Not just because of the experience, but because Henderson is a talker. He's going to be able to walk Quebec through the game. Okay. Um, in terms of talking, and Henderson in that left defensive defender position has been very very good. Um, his recovery pace, his anticipation, his calling of the line. I think. Where you've got distortion in that centre back position, we need his experience and leadership. So I think whoever plays centre back plays next to Hendo. That's just my my call, and I think that frees up Fabinho to go back into 
into central midfield. And I think for this kind of game, we're going to need his legs. We're going to need his combative spirit, his ability to turn defence into attack. Mm. And that frees up Thiago and Wijnaldum to do their thing. My only concern is that Thiago's athleticism doesn't give us enough cover if they break on us on the right-hand side in terms of Salah dropping back and Trent being exposed. That's where Brighton exposed us. Them mm. three, quite yet. they haven't got that connection quite. They need someone with legs to get across and protect from the wide positions. So I don't know. That's that's what I see. I think the, the attackers pick themselves. The defence is where it's going to be interesting and the midfield will flow off the back of that. That's that's my opinion. So have you left Nath Phillips out your back four? Do you know what? So this, this is what I was thinking. Because let's be let's be honest, Nat Phillips has not put a foot wrong in the last exactly. two games he's played. So does he go, like this is totally left field. Does he go Quebec in the left back position, left left centre defence position, and play Nat Phillips alongside him, which then frees up Hendo and Fabinho to be in the midfield alongside Ginny? And maybe Thiago comes off the bench or Thiago instead of Ginny because Ginny's had a lot of games. So, listen, and he usually does this. He usually leaves Vin Ginny out. Mm. And he lets him come in. brings him in and puts someone like um, Chamberlain in because he likes mm. someone to get to drive through in midfield and take those shots from the edge of the box. So yeah. I, I don't know, man. There's so many options, so many dynamics. Yeah, um, but the thing is, as well, Stitches, how many games has Nath Phillips had now? This will be his third in a row if he plays. Okay, so that's th three. There were three games of investing him into the back four. He's yeah. finding his way. As you said, he hasn't put a foot wrong. Why don't you him out? Put someone yeah. in. And the boys have all got to lay in a new way. Mm. This is true. This is true. Mm. This is true. Well, you uh, I keep him and you bring, the, you bring a new one in alongside him. Yeah? Mm. So... The, 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 you know, if I think it's going to be um, Kabak who'd come on. Yeah. If he's going to play one of them, I think it'll be Kabak. Mm. Uh, so, all the better to have Kabak with the most regulars you can get at the minute. I know Nat Phillips isn't, but he's the most regular one at the back of there at the minute. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I think he will start stitches. I yeah. do think he is. Yeah. The only, the, the only concern with that may is not I don't 90 know. 90 minutes, but... Yeah. My only concern with is that I don't know if that that there's a talker in there because I don't know about Quebec. I don't know if he's vocal. I don't know if mm. Phillips is vocal. Yeah. So and you need a leader back there. You need mm. a leader back there. That's one of the big things we miss about Van Van Dyke being back there. Someone controlling that line, and that's what Henderson brought into that defensive line. But hey, look, it's intriguing. It's intriguing. Yeah, it's this nice. But we're going to be experimenting tomorrow. It's too big a game to be experimenting with new players, don't you think? Yeah. But you know yeah. what? I, I, I think in terms Maybe of that... It's a free, it's a free hit. Yeah, and you're right. You, you just opened up, you've opened up so much dialogue and so much thought because the same way that you, you've both been mentioning about us, our, our back starting lineup as an example, whether Kobach's going to start or, or, or Nat Phillips will come in, is probably the same thing that we're thinking about City's back back line at the moment it could be Diaz it could be Stones it could be Cancelo it can be Walker we we still don't know they so the same way that we're thinking about how this their back line is going to start up on one shore they could be thinking the same thing about us and that's what it's once again makes it more exciting pardon to be Walker I think they're going to put Walker on instead of Laporte okay and I think who was the other one that was they were thinking of because even yeah. if Laporte plays, Laporte could play centre back or left back as well. We still don't know. Yeah. So yeah. Fodden. I think Fodden it'll be for instead of Hernandez. Okay. Yeah. I think. So so what yeah, let's let's get on to City then. What do you think their yeah. lineup's gonna be? Like I, uh, I think let me let me let me get straight into it. I think yeah. Raheem Sterling starts. Yeah. Because I think he's been resting him a lot. I think he's been yeah. prepping him for this game. I yeah, think Raheem starting. Sterling starts. Yeah. I think Foden starts. Yep. And I, I think that Jesus starts. Yeah. Uh, Jesus I think the midfield, Gundogan's going to be playing. I expect yeah. to see Fernandez or Fern Fernando. Fernandi I yeah, Fernandinho. Fernandinho um, and one other in that midfield. Yeah. Maybe Bernardo mm. Silva. Yeah. With who knows? Or it might yeah. be Foden in the midfield and Mares 
further forward or the Spanish guy that they've brought further forward. Can't remember his name. Plays out wide on the right. Um, so they got options as well. Centre back. Mm. I actually think Diaz definitely starts. Yeah. I think he's their number one centre back right now. But it's mm. a toss up for me on whether he goes with Stones or Laporte. And I think Stones might edge it on form. Mm-hmm. But and I I welcome that, right? Because I think we could still get at Stones. I'm more concerned if he plays Laporte. Because for okay. me, Laporte is formidable. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he's athletic. He's strong. Goals. Yeah. Stones mm. offers maybe more the of an attack. Goal, he? So, well, yeah, I'm but he's not there to score the goals. He's there to stop Mane oh. and Salah and Firmino. Yeah. And I think, that, I think that back four, that back four, I think they're going to play Laporte at left back. They're going to play Cancelo at right back and Diaz and Stone centre back. That back four, if they play it, that's yeah. that's hard. That's, yeah, <laughs> that that's hard. very. That's the back four. I hope they don't play. Yeah. That's the back yeah. four. I hope they don't play. For real, so. for real. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But for me, the critical man <clears throat> or the, the the three critical players are gonna be for them. Mm. Ryan Sterling. Is he gonna yeah. have one of them games? Yeah. Right, because Sterling's a good player. Right, I know yeah. other Liverpool fans want to talk him down, but and there's no class got, for got, all of them. There's exactly. No yeah, I'm to give them names. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I'm I'm gutted he left us. I think we had a hand to play on him leaving, but that's another story. But yeah. I feel like he could cause us problems. I feel Foden, if we don't clamp on him or get on him or get Fabinho to lock him down or whoever's in that midfield, he's going to be worries in the dance for us. Um, and Gundogan, you have to say Gundogan because yeah. he's in great yes. form right now. Brilliant form. Um, exactly. Yeah. People say Fernandinho is is um, their their most important player, and he can make a difference. But I feel like age is getting to him now. So athletically, I, think, he'll be playing. I think we could get at him. I think we could yeah. get at him. I think he's not quite the same. I think he's very influential. But in a game like this, I think the legs around our midfield could mm. cause him problems. Mm. Definitely causing problems. And if you get um, Firmino dropping deep and and really putting him under. Mm. Pressure and playing in that space, I think it could be problems, and he could get sent off. Yeah, he, he does a lot of late tackles. He does a lot of late mm. tackles. So yeah, the three I mentioned for me, who who are your three? Who do you think is going to be problems? See, I that's think, how you can go first. I think Sterling as well. Sterling, Mares. Yeah. Um, Mares, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, you're right. Good, good. Good again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to go. Yeah, I always say the first names. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, two of us. I'll tell you who else. If Rodrigo plays as well. Yeah. If they go two man pivot and play Rodrigo and Fernandinho. Yeah, yeah. And then if Silva plays, he's one one to watch. Mm. Um, He's tricky. Yeah, he is. What about Mendy? Would he? Would he get it? Would he get it? I would love it if they played Mendy. Would he get him? <laughs> I I would love it if they played him because I think we would we would expose him. Definitely. Is it, is it, was, Nate, was he a sub the other night? Was he? Yeah, yeah. I think he was. Well, twenty subs, didn't he? Um. So yeah, <laughs> again, he's he's got that much of a selection, hasn't he? Yeah. He's spoiled, really, isn't he? Whatever happens, this Who's is such an intriguing... no excuse. We have, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, here's a comment from Pipe 71. Pipes, thank you very much for your comment. Tiago is a bit of a luxury player, not too sure if this is the game for him tomorrow. It might be too frenetic for him. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Remember, we're, we're uh, I think it's important not to discard Tiago's arm um, level of experience and knowledge. These will yeah. be once again, we spoke about how high in terms of um, uh, technical ability and in terms of importance that this game is going to be. These, this this game is going to be the, the games that we've bought Thiago for. We're, we're forgetting about the manner in which he can dictate, dictate plays. You know, he, his movement. Yeah, he's, his movement, his appreciation of space, um, the ability of... Um, you know, unlocking those little spaces, those little balls, even if he's playing deep, he can actually play those balls through 
and breaking the lines from Man City as well. So if anything, these are the games that Thiago was actually bought for. He's going to relish yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I fully agree, Stoney. I, I think this is made for Thiago. Yeah. This is made for Thiago. Yes, they might be frenetic, but I think you're going to have two midfielders either side of him mm. that are going to be there to do the work for him. Yeah. And yeah. just give him the ball and let him hurt them. Yeah. Because Mane and Salah's pace on that turnaround, quick passes, like that's how we've exposed them in the past. You know, they build up, build up, build up. We press, get the ball, bing, bang, boom. We're mm. in on that back line. I actually think this game is going to be dictated by what happens in the first 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Right? In regards to very early, we always get chances against them. And mm. when we put the chances away, the, then we're on it. Yeah. But if we start missing good chances early, it's going to be a problem because they'll grow into the game. So, uh, you know what? I, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm excited. Mm. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> But, but two teams that like to play press and football, yeah? So yeah, yeah. it normally takes 15, 20 minutes to get into the game, though, doesn't it? Mm. When you're playing that type of football. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, as you say, yeah, 20 minutes. I don't know, might make, we could see some alien quick quick goals. Um, another thing I've just remembered about um, Kabak, he was actually suspended, wasn't he? He was. He didn't play for a while. Mm. No, he has been playing. He's been back from suspension. Christmas, wasn't he? So, again, yeah. I still don't think he, he, he will start. Um, uh, well, I saw I saw clips of him in training. He looks sharp. Yeah. He looks yeah. sharp. He, he nutmeg Trent. Yeah. <laughs> so he's he coming not with confidence then. Yeah, he nutmeg <laughs> Trent. I've not Trent made Trent. That's not an absurd story. Trent, Trent, <laughs> Trent, you like it. I've not made the man that went through. But, um, also... <laughs> The speeds, Raheem, Stale and Amadez, I've seen the speed of them. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, yeah. can we counter I'd, that? I'd be interested in yeah. us potentially playing a two-man pivot today and just letting yeah. Thiago play a free role in front of them. Like, mm -hmm. get the legs around him. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fabinho and Hendo, if we can yeah. free them up and mm -hmm. then free up Thiago to do his thing. And, mm -hmm. and I, I think that could be deadly. Um that's my thoughts, but hey, look, time's running away with us. Yeah, time you know, is running away. I'd just like to say one thing, though. If he does play five in the midfield... Who? Um, Jose. 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 <laughs> um, I think the last time he's done that, wasn't that when he got beat? Yeah. He's done a four, yeah. five, one. Yeah, we, we beat him when they done that. I, I don't see him I doing that. Beat, so let him stick five. We're going to go round the wall, round the bus, round the shop, and we're going to score, and we're going to win. And I think we're going to win. I'm going to say... 2-0. Oh, you say 2-0. Two Stoney, two nil. Nil. what have you got for me? Who's your man of the match, Pato, just before I'm I move on to the match. Um, I've got this funny feeling that Jeannie Ronaldo is going to do some Dutch um, machi. Magic. Mahi, right, that is that's just <laughs> Mahi. Um, I think he's going to put himself in the Barcelona mode. window, shot window. Yeah, yeah. now he's going to be like he when we played Barcelona, then he stepped up to the mark and he got us two goals. I want him to sit there and have that anger when he was on the bench and he didn't get picked. Mark uh, Gini, sit there, get angry. At tomorrow's team, and I want you to come on and get us. Never mind, get two, get three goals. Three, three goals. We're going to see. Okay. I think we're going to see goals from people we didn't expect. All right. I can't wait. Can't yep. wait. Come on, Liverpool. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. And the title isn't over. The title hasn't finished. Jose, it ain't yours yet, mate. It ain't yours yet. And on that note, guys, I've got to go back to work. See you soon. Right. After show winning, we're going to win. Right. Bye. See you later, Pato. See you later. Bye, subscribe. Pato. Subscribe. Subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Bye. How, how do we follow that, Stoney? How do we follow I def that? I definitely can't follow that. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't. We can't. Um, so we, my prediction we can't for tomorrow. Move. Yeah, go on. I was going to say. My prediction for tomorrow. Um, I'm looking at a 2-1 victory for Liverpool. Um, okay. Man of the match is going to be uh, Thiago for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Player to watch from Man City 
um, mm -hmm. I would say is going to be Gundogan. Okay. I, so, I, yes. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I named three players to watch because I think Sterling is always naturally up for the game against us. Yeah. Um, I think Gundogan, Gundogan's going to have a, a say. And mm. whenever we've played against that little you, what's his name again? Um, is that Foden? Foden. Yeah. We haven't got that. We haven't got around him. We haven't got nah, grips nah. around him. I know. So I know. To me, we got to, you know, we got we got to worry about that a little bit. My score prediction, I think, is going to be high scoring. You know. Yeah. I'm seeing a four three, a three wow. two. Wow. Okay. I think it's going to be a blockbuster because they, well, for us, see, for us watching a game, that's going to be amazing. I don't know whether my heart, can, I don't know whether my heart's going to be able to cope with that, but yeah, that, I mean, that would be exciting to watch. So here's the thing. I feel like yeah. they're in a position with those seven, with that seven point cushion and the game in hand to yeah. throw caution to the wind. Sure. And Guardiola, at his core, he's an attacking coach. Yeah. He's going to want to go out there and just bring it to us. That's what I and feel. You, you know what? You know what? You may be right on that. He may also be looking. I know it's something completely different. I'm just going to throw, throw a little spanner in the works here, right? In terms of you saying about it being a high-scoring game, Pep might also have a, a little eye on what our Manchester Red Chadbricks have been doing over the over the road and the amount of goals that they've been scoring as well. And you're right, at the moment, they really haven't got nothing to lose. They're probably they looking on the point, they're probably looking at the points difference between us and them. They've also got a game in hand. And you're right, they might just want to try and level up on some some goals. So in terms of that, it could be an open game. Yeah, and, and that might be a factor, but I think it's more a factor if he's looking at it and he's thinking, we're seven points clear right now. Let's done their dance. If True. we go out there and beat Liverpool, we don't yeah. have to worry about them because we're done. Ten points yeah. Yeah. ahead of them with the game in hand. Mm. He might take that as in, you know what? Let me just go and finish off this title challenge completely now. I and think it, it that may, they may also wish to try and make a statement as well. Absolutely. Right, it can go either way. But on our side... I swear the last time we played City, didn't they smash us up? Like, it was at the end of the title, like, when we came back after the break and, you know... Do you know what? COVID, you know, you know when certain games... You know when certain games happen in history and you try and remove them from your mind? That that may have been one of them for me, so I'm well, sorry if that's I, I was watching it. I was watching it with a cigar, bruv, because we was just oh. cruising to the league. I was watching yeah. it with a cigar. Like, I was just like, mm, it's all good. Like, I just feel like... You know, we owe them a beating. We yeah, do, yeah. Because that was a dismantling. There's no hiding from it. But yeah, I think we yeah. was already on the beach. We was already celebrating. Yeah, you know, true. We, we got the trophy. We we true. were celebrating winning something that we hadn't won in 30 years. And the relief, the pressure off the players, they must have been mm. like, oh, we've done it. Like, um, you know, celebrating. Exactly. Probably still drunk. <laughs> do yeah. you know what I mean? The ones that drink. So, weren't too bothered. But I feel like, from their perspective, they want to end our title challenge now. Do it early. Yeah. Also, mm. if you look at their next run of games that they've got, mm. there's some tough games in there over yeah, a short true. space of time. So they true. don't want to start off dropping points now So because their the legs are going to get tired, even though mm. they've got a really good squad. There's a lot of games coming. So they're like, mm. let's kill it off at the beginning. Done. Yeah, yeah. So we've got that little bit of cushion in case mm. we do drop some points. Mm. Yeah. But true. let's, 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 like, look, I'm looking forward to it. My prediction, as I said, is either going to be a 4 2 or a 3 2. Yeah. It's going to be tight. But I think his guns blazing. I want to see a classic like yeah. we saw way back when, when the first two started, when we first started clashing with them. I think yeah, over yeah, the last yeah. few games, it's got a bit tight, a bit mm. too tactical. But I want to see a masterclass of football. Um, will we see that? Still to be seen. But you know what? I look forward to these games. I do. Definitely. I'm not. This is excitement for me. I'm not. Listen, <laughs> this is what I want to see for my club, playing the top boys mm. out there and giving, giving the best we can. Um, it's going to be interesting. Whatever happens, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a Man United bus parked and nah. we're trying, 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 and they're looking to hit us on the. It's not going to be that. No, it's not going no. to be that. No. Yeah. So with that, with that being said, thank you to everyone who tuned in today. This was the Brilliant. LFC versus Man City preview. I've been stitches. This is my brethren Stony. We've been talking about what's going to happen. Um, let's see if it does, um, and then. Tune in for the post match where it's gonna be all smiles, <laughs> yeah. Or it's gonna be tears. <laughs> Do you know what Definitely. I mean? But either Definitely. way, we'll be here. We never hide. We never hide. Stony, thank you very much, brilliant. sir. Um, thank you, sir. You on the other side. All yeah. right, brilliant. All right, nice one. Thank you. Peace. Bye.